Hello, precious standards. It is Lakedra. Thank you all so much for joining me. I wanted to come on here and pray for that, that one that feels all alone and you just need someone to stand with you in prayer. I want to come in agreement with you concerning whatever situation you are facing, whether it be concerning a divorce, separation, the salvation of your spouse, restoration in your marriage, whatever you are going through, I come to stand in agreement with you for that spouse to come back to the Lord, come back home. We are going to trust God together. Hallelujah for his promises. They are sure. And so God is able to put up on the mind of your spouse his laws and write them on their hearts and cause that heart to turn away and cause that heart to be softened and for them to come back to the Lord. For nothing is impossible for God. God has a special plan and a purpose for your marriage. And it is not over until God says that it is over. And we know that God is not for divorce. God is for the husband to be joined unto his wife and the two be united into one flesh. And to illustrate Christ and the church united into one. God is in the business of saving marriages and bringing restoration to families and healing broken hearts. And so I want to pray with you and I want you to cast all of your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. Praise the Lord. And I also pray that the Lord will give you this revelation of his will for your marriage so that you won't be troubled. And that you can take comfort and enter into his rest. And believe that you've received all these things that he has given unto you through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. As his word tells us, when there are two or three touching in agreement, asking anything on this earth, Jesus says in my name, I will do it. And so let's trust him together, people of God. You, precious standard, that is having trouble standing. And you that is going through heartbreak. I want to come in agreement so that the Lord can cause his peace to guard your heart and your mind. This is what would bring God in that situation. When we come to him and ask, he says, ask and I will do it. And we have not if we ask not. And so we're going to trust God to keep his promise and do what he says. And so I want to pray for you, precious standard. That one that is about to give up and just don't know what to do. God is for you. And as long as he be for you, nothing can stand against you. We're going to believe God to bring forth the promises. In that marriage and bring restoration and cause that spouse to come in alignment with his will and that marriage of yours to illustrate Christ and the church united into one. This is his plan. This is his plan for your marriage. And this all shall be through the power of the Holy Ghost. Where God will put it on their hearts and their minds and cause them to walk in his ways. Cause your spouse to walk in his ways and you to be like-minded according to Christ Jesus. That is fitting unto followers of Christ Jesus. And love not the things of this world and love God. And place him. Place him far above anything else. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. So Father I join in agreement. With that one that is hurting right now. Father I thank you that you are turning away destruction for this marriage. You have already done it. You have already planned it. Before the foundation of the world through the blood of Jesus. You are the one Lord God that restores. And we thank you Lord God for bringing restoration and healing. And bringing in your divine assignment and alignment for this marriage. 
We break the power of the devil right now. We rebuke them in Jesus holy name. All of the works of the enemy. Thank you Lord God for making a way of escape. You're causing captives to be set free. You're causing that spouse oh God to turn away from evil and do good. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. And the blood of reconciliation that reconciled man back to God. And so, Lord, we apply the blood over this family. I apply the blood right now over this marriage in Jesus' name. And we curse the divorce in Jesus' name. And therefore, we decree and declare restoration and healing and deliverance. And we send forth, O oh God. Your word as we declare it out of our mouth. That it will bring healing. And that it will accomplish where it is being sent now in the midst of this marriage. In Jesus name. And that there will be a joining. And this marriage will line up and illustrate Christ. Loving the church. That he is the head of. And Lord God. This marriage becoming one. The wife Submitted unto our husband and everything in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you will bring peace to God this standard's heart and mind. And heal that broken heart. And give them the revelation and understanding that all is well. And that you are the God that keeps your covenant. You are the God that keeps your promises, Lord God. And so, Father, I pray that you would open up the eyes of this standard's eyes oh god open up their eyes and enlighten their understanding and help them to see your will lord god that it is not of evil but to give them hope in that marriage and restore that marriage and give them a future in the precious name of jesus oh god and that salvation is your will for their spouse and for them to come back to you lord god and be reconciled to their spouse in the mighty name of jesus Oh God, and that that spouse will repent, be brought to repentance, Lord God. Bring conviction in Jesus' name. Cause them to walk away from that ungodly relationship, Lord. Order their footsteps in the name of Jesus. Write your laws on their hearts and their minds as you have promised, Lord God. Raise them up, resurrect them, and bring them back to life in Jesus' name. Awaken them, quicken them, Lord God. Allow them to see the errors of their ways and help them make the right decisions, meaning to do what is right. Come back in alignment with your will and your plans and your purpose that you have for that spouse who is away from you. Life, we bind the plans of the enemy, Lord God. The plans and the strategies of the devil that had came in to kill, steal, and to destroy. We curse the works of the devil. We bind them. We send them back in Jesus' name. Lord, replace, replace this wickedness, oh God, with your blessings. And save, oh God, for your glory in Jesus' name, Lord. And we ask it to be done. Thank you, Lord God, for restoration and healing that is coming forth. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing revelation to that wayward spouse, showing them, oh God, the path, giving them revelation and showing them the truth. And it is this truth that is making them free in the name of Jesus. And Father, also, Lord God, make it bear witness with this standard's heart right now. Help them to see, oh God, that it is so, that it is done. In Jesus' name, that they can walk by faith and not by sight. Give them that inner witness, oh God, that you have heard them, Lord Jesus. That you are doing what you have spoken in their lives. Give them strength to endure. Help them to see past the situation. Help them to see past that mountain, Lord God. And that mountain be moved in the mighty name of Jesus and thrown into the sea. Help them to trust in you with all their heart, all their soul, their mind, and their strength. And rest in your word and trust in you. In Jesus' name to the end. Thank you for miracles, oh God. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For binding up the works of the devil. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing that wayward spouse out and back to you. And back, oh God, hallelujah, 
in alignment with your word, for you have ordered their footsteps, and we call them, Lord God, healed, delivered, and free. We call their minds renewed and their hearts softened. Thank you for, Lord God, stopping that divorce case. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for being in the midst of that trouble. Oh, God, overturning every obstacle. Overturning, Lord God, what the enemy meant for evil. Bringing forth good. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. Thank you for being our rescuer. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. Praises to your name. We give you all the glory and the honor. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for there is none like you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for your divine grace. And thank you for raising up that dead situation. Making a way when it seemed to be no way. And we call it done. Praise your name. Lord, remind them of your promises. Lord, and help them, Lord God, to hide it in their hearts. Remind them of it. When they are feeling troubled. Give them that peace in Jesus name and help them to stand on your word. And we call it done in Jesus holy name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And all the people of God that standard, that one that has joined me. We say amen. Amen. Lord God, we are trusted in you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name. We call it done, precious standard. I stand with you, my brother. I stand with you, my sister. We call it done. Receive it. Continue holding on to the promises of God. This is what will keep you standing strong. As the scriptures say, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined unto his wife. And the two shall be united into one. This is God's promise to you. This is God's promise to you that your marriage line up and illustrate Christ and the church united into one. It is God's plan for your marriage. Receive it. He promised that he will make it so. And so trust him. He's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. If God spoke it, if it is his promise, he's bringing it to pass. Remember, he wants you to receive it. Believe that it is yours. And it shall be yours. And we receive it by faith in God. He loves you, people of God. Remember that. And I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.